Well, um, galactins are in, in healthy tissues as well. Uh, galactin one, the one that we that we are studying, are particularly overexpressed in tumor cells, and their expression correlates with malignancy and with acquisition of metastatic phenotype. So what we found is that when tumors produce galactin one, it's in very high concentrations, and it's in its dimeric form and it's a glycan binding protein, it's a sugar binding protein, so it's binding to sugars on the surface of T cells, uh, on immune cells and endothelial cells, and create an immunosuppressive microenvironment on these cells. Well, what we found is that secretion of collecting one by, by, by tumor cells uh, induces apoptosis of T cells, so it kills T cells, but it also promotes tolerogenic dendritic cells, so dendritic cells which are unable to present antigen to T cells. And so, so this is part of the functions of galactins that are related to immunoregulation and immunosuppression, but part of the functions of galactins, particularly galactin 1, are related to their ability to create blood vessels. So they have two different functions in modulating immune signaling programs and in modulating vascular signaling programs. So if you, we, we reason that if we block galactin 1 expression, then we will increase and unleash T cell responses to kill the tumor, but also we will reduce the number of blood vessels that are generated in the tumor microenvironment. Well, in fact, uh, we, are, we have generated uh, some, some antagonists and some inhibitors, and we are a monocular antibodies, and we are, uh, I think we will move in the, in the next few years uh, to clinical trials and to uh, move to study with patients, but all the work has been done till date with uh, preclinical models. Well, checkpoint inhibitors are cell surface associated molecules. It's just, for example, pd one is expressed on tumor cells and also in macrophages, antigen presenting cells. And uh, in the case of CTLA4, it is particularly on T cells, but this is cell, cell surface proteins. In this case, galactin 1 is secreted. So it's a soluble protein, acts as a cytokine. Uh, and it's secreted at different stages of the cell. So, so it, uh, it involves different, different functions at different stages of cell differentiation. So you can check our, our website, uh, Rabinovich Lab, uh, which is my name, Gabriel Rabinovich. And uh, of course, you can write me an email to gabirabi.gmail.com. Well, in fact, uh, what we are trying, we, we, are, we are really happy and delighted to, to do collaborations. We are settled in Argentina, so it's quite far away. And we would love to do collaborations with many people from United States and Europe. And, and we are still doing this collaboration with many people. And this enriched our field a lot. We identified Collecting One as early as 1991, when I was a student. And we started to do uh, this research, uh, this um, demonstrating the, the function in tumor cells, in autoimmune diseases, the mechanisms uh, that, are, that were involved and the function in, in angiogenesis. Uh, and now we, we generated this antagonist and agonist of, of galactins, but we, we would like to, to uh, integrate this into other fields as well of, of, the, of, the, of tumor biology.